Today I will be discussing the color of light, more specifically color addition and color subtraction. Even more importantly, the essential question is, how do we see colored lights and how do we see colored objects? Those will be shown in this video as I go through color addition and color subtraction. The definition of color addition from the physics tutorial website is, the addition of color is the production of various colors of light by the mixing of three primary colors. This is the reflection process. Those primary colors are red, green, and blue. The physics tutorial also has this color subtraction definition. That is, the process of color subtraction is a useful means of predicting the ultimate color appearance of an object if the color of the incident line and the pigments are known. This is the absorption process and the primary colors are magenta, cyan, and yellow. These triple Venn diagrams are showing the comparison of color addition and color subtraction. Color addition is the process of a color reflecting off of the object, and color subtraction is the process of the color being absorbed into the object. When you mix together red and green, you get the color yellow. When you mix together red and blue, you get the color magenta. When you mix the color green and blue, you get the color cyan. But when you mix all three, red, green, and blue, you get white. That's where white light comes in. You see white light because all three primary colors are being reflected off of the object. So there's no absorption or color subtraction from the object. If you happen to see the color black, it's due to the fact that all of the colors are being absorbed or subtracted from your sight. An example would be the blue t-shirt. You see that it's blue because red and green are being absorbed into the shirt or subtracted from your sight, and the blue is being reflected off of the shirt into your eyesight. Another example is this yellow t-shirt. It's yellow because the blue is being absorbed into the t-shirt and subtracted from your sight, and the red and green are both reflecting off the t-shirt, mixing into yellow as it enters your eyesight. Now that we've discussed color addition, we can move on to color subtraction. That is the process of being absorbed or removed from your eyesight. Color subtraction focuses on pigments or dyes, not really the light that is being shown. If you go back to the triple Venn diagram that I have shown earlier in the video, you will see that there's two of them. One of them is for the color addition and one of them is for color subtraction. If you look at the subtraction diagram, you'll see that the opposites are what are being subtracted. So if you have magenta, it's due to the fact that green was taken away from the color. If you have cyan, it's due to the fact that red was taken away from the color. And if you have yellow, it's due to the fact that blue was taken away from the color. But if you mix magenta, yellow, and cyan, it's all subtracting, turning into black. That's how you get your black objects, just like the white objects is red, blue, and green. One of the main misconceptions that is known with this topic is the primary colors given. In art class, you have the primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. But in this topic, there are two different sets of primary colors. The first is for addition, it's the red, blue, and green. And then for subtraction, you have magenta, cyan, and yellow. This misconception is very common for all ages. You can walk up to someone at any age and ask them what the primary colors are, and they'll most likely give you red, yellow, and blue as their answer. Just to recap, color addition is the process of being reflected into your eyesight. Your primary colors are going to be red, green, and blue, and then your secondary colors that are being mixed into the primary colors are magenta, yellow, and cyan. Color subtraction is the process of being absorbed or removed from your eyesight. That's with paints and dyes and pigments, not light like addition is. Those primary colors are cyan, yellow, and magenta, and the secondary colors are red, green, and blue. When you have color addition with all three primary colors, you have white light, and when you have color subtraction with all of those three primary colors, you will have black pigment.